Hey guys, Uma here and welcome to the second video in our Spotify to Apple Music project. In this video, we'll be making the authentication server that our client, the React application, will use to authenticate for both Spotify and Apple Music. Let's get started. In the first part of this series, we explored what an API is and we created a Spotify and Apple Music developer accounts so we can get access to the Apple Music and the Spotify API. If this is your first time here, I will attach the link to the first video in the card above and right below the like button. Feel free to check it out. All the code for this part will be on my GitHub page if you want to follow along or if you just want an authentication server for your project. The code for subsequent parts of the video will also be in the same repo. The link is down in the description. Let's jump into authentication. Before we jump into the code, let's talk about how authentication for our application would work. Our application comprises of two parts, our client side, which is our React application, and our authentication server. Our authentication server handles the back and forth messaging with Spotify that is needed for us to get the Spotify token we will use as authentication to access the user's playlist. It also generates the Apple Music token we will need to access the Apple Music API. Our client application, which is the React app, will make a call to our authentication server's login endpoint. The call to the login endpoint will redirect to the Spotify authorized endpoint. We'll pass our client ID, which we got from our Spotify developer account, the scopes for our request, which basically tells Spotify the type of data we want to access, and our redirect URI that we registered in our application. The redirect URI is where Spotify will send the response to our request. The response to this request will be an authorization code. We will then use this authorization code to make our second request to the Spotify API, sending in the authorization code and our client secret to the Spotify token endpoint. The response for this call will be an access token and a refresh token. We will then redirect back to our client application, passing in this token as an argument. Our React app can then make direct calls to Spotify using the access token to fetch the data we need. On the Apple side of things, all we will need is the key we downloaded from our Apple developer account. We will use JWT, which is an acronym for JavaScript Web Tokens, to generate a token we will use to access the Apple Music API. Let's write the code. If you want to follow along, make sure you have Node.js installed on your computer. Navigate to the folder where you want the project to be in and create a new folder called Auth Server. CD into the folder and run npm init to create our node project. This will create a package.json file. Next, create a file named app.js or server.js. Just make sure it's in the auth server folder. Copy the key we downloaded from our Apple developer account to the auth server folder. It should have a .p8 extension. We will install the following packages listed on the screen. Run npm install cores express, JSON web token, query string, and requests. The first thing we'll do in our code is initialize the packages we'll use. We'll then initialize the variables that we'll be sending to Spotify. These include our client ID, our client secret, and the redirect URI. I will be hard coding these into the code, but ideally you want these to be exported as environment variables. Next, we will create the login endpoints. This endpoint will redirect to the Spotify authorized method. We will pass in our client ID, the scope, and the redirect URI. We 
We will then create the callback endpoint that Spotify will send the authorization code to. We will use the authorization code to make a request to the token endpoint, passing in the code and our client secret. And when that response comes back, we'll get an access token we will then redirect back to our React application. On the Apple Music side of things, we will initialize the variables that we will use. We will then use JavaScript Web Token and our key to generate the token we will send to the client. The client will use this token to access the Apple Music API. We will create the endpoint that our client will use to access this token. We then initialize the port and tell the server to listen at that port. And that should be it for the authentication server. To test this, we run npm start in the authentication server folder. We can see that the server is listening on the port that we specified. If we open an incognito window and navigate to the login endpoint, it should redirect us to login to Spotify. We can see that that works. Let's test the Apple endpoint. If we navigate to the token endpoint, it should return the token. Yes, it works. That's it for this video. In the next video, we'll be creating our React application and also creating the Redux component that we'll use to store the state of our application. Stay tuned and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.